start getting everything because I got to get this stuff cleared out for Foxy to go to the vet to go get her shots. And then we might be hauling next weekend. I'm so excited. <laughs> It is Sunday, and I believe in that being like a rest day and everything, but yesterday was technically my re my rest day. So, today, we are getting to work. Now, I'm about to change out the trailer light and get that taken care of. And I got my little helper here that she's going to supervise. You coming up here? So... I, I get to I get to learn how to change out a trailer light. This will be interesting. So said hopefully next time that I change out trailer lights, it'll actually be for everything to look nicer instead of needing to do it. I need to speaking of needing to do stuff, I need to clean out my horse trailer again. But yeah, said Foxy is going to the vet on Tuesday, and I need a trailer light. And to be working, and then I'm probably going to put the back shocks on my truck. Because I need new shocks on my truck. So, I gotta get to work, guys. <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm going through changing out a brake rear trailer light on a sundowner horse trailer not sure why i'm recording this maybe it's for to remind me how to do this later on because i can't find anybody changing out horse trailer lights um so i'm just kind of going through the motions here so this is the new one this is oh there's the battery <laughs> this is the hopkins led stop tail turn a ground that's not a ground grommet mount includes grommet pl and plug I all right in other words here is the gist here my light stopped working a while back I was planning on hauling somewhere I don't know if it was to a barrel race to the vet somewhere to the dentist. I was going to go bring my horse to the dentist. And the lights weren't working. And hopefully this one works because I'm not too sure about this. Anyway, we're about to see. I'm going to back up my truck here in a second. We're going to see. But I need to replace my passenger side of my horse trailer lights. So this is the new one. It's the LED light. Said I took out this one that Lily's standing guard of. So now I'm gonna put this in there. I'm not sure how yet it's going in there. I'm probably gonna have to push it in from this side. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's how we're doing that. So let me see if I can find some of the prop y'all up on. Bear with me. Uh this is my usual stand is packed up still so here's the battery it's included in this led thing so as you can see a little battery and so they included that Pretty easy to install. Uh, you just push it right in there. Seems to fit very nicely. Okay. 
And so I have the previous plug right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and undo all of this. I don't know what to do. None of it's connected. I'm like looking at it, I'm like, none of this. Here, let me show y'all. None of it is connected. Like, that's a whole wire right there. That's not even split open or anything. There's a little itty bitty wire down in there. And then same goes for here. Like, none of, that's just the whole wire. Like, none of it is connected. In other words, the light does work. So, because if I push this little button right here, oh, but that's all I got. None of it's connected, so I don't know how the light works. So yeah, we're gonna. I don't know what we're gonna do just yet, but we're gonna look at something here. I feel like I need to do something with this open black wire. But I don't know what to connect it to if none of the other lights are connected. Like, none of the other wires are connected. So, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm going to get my dad. I'm going to get my dad. Alright, so here is the aftermath. Here is the finished product here. It looks so much nicer compared to my other one. Like... Okay, so here's the deal. I just basically, like, my dad came out and helped me, and we just used this plug to go in the new light. That's the old one. This is the plug that came with the new one. Alright, so when you figure it out, it's very simple, very easy. You just hook this up, like, put it in the thing, because these two parts come separately. The, the rubber around it and the light itself, it comes separately in the in the thing so here's what we got going on here this is what i had bought and it comes with everything in it so this black piece is separate from this so basically you just put the light and the black part and then you'll pop it into your socket over here so this was very easy to put in um, I put it together and it just like, I just pushed it in there and it, it just, it's good. So, what we got here, let me put that back together. Okay, so basically, I just left the plug from the old one in there and hooked it up to the new one. It works great. It's so much brighter, so my dad was like, you're going to have to get that one for the other side too so i'm going to eventually have to change out the other side because of the difference of the lights he said that this one is so much brighter than the other one that we're gonna have to do that so i think it's only like 17 dollars. i'll have to look and i'll for sure i'll probably find the link and link it below um i think that's what i'll end up doing is finding the link i got mine at lowe's and I think it's like 17 something. Uh, next on the agenda for the horse trailer lights is the running lights. I got to go get some more of those. I'll show y'all over here. This yellow running light is out. So I need to get that replaced. So I'll probably go to Lowe's. They have an LED running light kit. So I'll probably go through and get that and then replace the running lights. And then I got to check at the ones that are in the front of the horse trailer. And I think those are just bulbs. So hopefully it's just bulbs that I can get those and replace those. But that's next on the agenda is replacing this tail light over here and doing the running lights. Uh, now that that is done, I can for sure haul Foxy this weekend. Or not this week, this weekend, this week on Tuesday. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get all this stuff out before I haul Foxy. So, I, how do I want to do this? 
I'm gonna start moving stuff out. So, I'm gonna go look in the barn, the old barn, the one that got damaged, and see if we have any of the black plastic pallets in there. So right now we just got wood ones in here, but I wanna say that we had some plastic ones that were in the old barn. Um, I'm going to go look in there and see if we have any so that I can start moving the hay and stuff into the hay and shavings pod. Since I have that kind of room, I'm so excited. Uh, and then, I don't know, guys, this is going to be such a crazy day. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog of this. This may be the only bit that y'all get. I got to put that back up. And start getting everything because i gotta get this stuff cleared out for foxy to go to the vet to go get her shots and then we might be hauling next weekend i'm so excited i don't know how well you can see this but if you were looking through the different uh wires that i was showing y'all just a, just a second ago so my dad explained to me that the whole wire with the white wire in it is the ground wire and so this is linking out to the running light out here. Um, just said that right. Uh, anyway, and then this is what goes back to the wiring system for the truck. And this is what goes out here to this tail light. Um, so how he explained it to me is that these little clips right here, even though they look like they're not touching, there is a metal piece that's actually digging through the coating of the wire so it reaches to the wire. And that metal part is connecting the currents and stuff. So that's how all that is working. I didn't want anybody, like if y'all had any questions or anything, I wanted to give y'all an explanation of what's all going on. So like I did open this one up and I did see the metal bar and everything. Uh, I've already closed the back and all that and it was just a pain to open it up and everything so I'm not going to open it up for y'all but there is like a little metal bar that's like in the middle of here and you can see like the prongs going through and cutting into some of it so that's how that is working and I just wanted to give y'all an explanation so that y'all can understand that uh but yeah the light now works we got that ready to go now I am about to empty out this horse trailer. You are sitting up on a stack of hay bales right now. So <laughs> I'm trying to get stuff back in line here at Smoke and H. And we got to get stuff done. So I'm going to get this all moved back into the new barn on the new concrete. I'm about to go look and see what we got for pallets uh, over in the old barn that we have left. And... We're going to see. I got to see what else I got to do. Um, I would like to put shocks on my truck before I go, but I don't think I'm going to be able to today. I would like to at least get the back ones on for sure. So hopefully I can. If I can't while it's daylight out, then I could probably try to tr pull up my truck in the barn uh, because it is concrete now and I do have a pretty big aisle so that I can move my truck in and out and do all that. So we will see how it goes. If not, I'm sure that we got some portable lights somewhere in, in the tractor shed or in the shed that the carport is on. So I'm sure I could find something to do uh, with that. So I may or may not be able to get that done today. I will see, but here's what we got going on so far. I hope that you guys like the little trailer light thing because I can't find any anybody to do anything. So. When I do my running lights and everything, I will also show y'all how to do that. Alright, but back to what I was saying. Whenever I go through and change out the running lights on the trailer, which I'll probably be doing those sometime this winter, um, I will also vlog of how to do those because I, like, I found out that on my trailer it's a plug and then I'm going to have to look at the ones up at the top because they look like they're just bulbs, but I will let y'all know otherwise. So... Yeah, so we got some other stuff to do, so let's see where we go. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the horse trailer light installation. Like I said previously, I will be doing the 
running lights and I think I may do whenever I do the other trailer light I may go ahead and do like a really quick one I'm not sure yet but I will be doing a running lights and the top running lights of the horse trailer as well I unfortunately I did not record a whole lot with um installing a new plug because we were all over that with going back and forth and trying to figure out what <laughs> how to install a plug so later on we did get it uh so I'm next time if that ever happens then I'll record it but unfortunately I didn't get any kind of content for that so I cannot post that one for y'all but we will be doing running lights and that is not necessarily a necessity right now but it is something that we are going to do so that because the one tail light is led i want to go through and do the rest of the lights led so that is why we will be doing the running lights so be looking for those later on in the future i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you will and i will be seeing y'all next week bye guys